So, real quick, I don't know how this works, but before the video starts, well, technically starts, before I get ranting on some weird stuff, anyways, um, be cool, be safe, be seen, LED bike wheel lights, how much are they? Depending on how much, boom, 13 bucks. Alright, here's the promise. If this video that I'm about to post reaches 50 likes, somehow, somehow, some way, it reaches 50 likes, I will buy these and put them on my bike. Alright, anyways, on with the video. Hello and welcome to a new video. As you can tell, it's probably a little bit different. That's okay. I am answering a multitude of people's questions. How do you get a Chinese pit bike that you don't have to order online and is safe to buy? Well, we are going to be answering that question today. Now, we're going to go ahead and jump on into this. The good old Craigslist where I got mine. It's a glorious place for all kinds of things. But, we're starting off fresh right here. Now, this is the dirt bike that everyone needs. Alright? I don't care who tells you what. This bad boy is going to send you to space. Look at that. Look at that. You get free tetanus along with it. What's better than that? And then, not only that, you get camo. It's painted camo, guys. That's just... It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You can take it hunting. You can sneak up on deers. Mongooses, turkeys, whatever you want to do. It, it, you can't ask for more. It's got some off-road tires. It looks like it ran through some dog poop. But other than that, you get tetanus dog poop, a space engine, and a camo. Paint job. I can't complain. All right, moving on. So, well, hold on. Whoa, whoa, hold on. How much is it? $400 to go 20 miles an hour. I paid $260 more and I got my dirt bike. I mean, they look about the same, but geez. Who wants Ted? Okay, anyways. All right, moving on. So, the actual bikes of the internet, what you actually want, right here. Right here. Look at this. This looks like not a bad bike. 100cc, so not too shabby. $650. That's it's not bad. Manual. Okay, alright, we're working with it. What's this? A great starter bike? Wait, hold up. What is that? Okay, alright. So the exhaust pipe looks like it came out of an ancient pyramid. It's wrapped like a mummy. What the heck? What is wrong with these people? I mean, it could be possible that when you go and ride the bike, it runs, but it looks like it could catch on fire any moment. I don't know. I don't know. It... Ah... Uh, it's it's up there it's up in the air but thankfully you're not in the same location so all your bikes are going to be completely different pretty nice all right anyways um it's not bad uh i you know it might be worth it it looks like it's been roughed up a little bit so you're playing a risk overall it looks pretty clean other than the mummy exhaust pipe but you can work past that anyways let's move on so, real quick, if you're on Craigslist, for the people that don't know, go to price minimum, put in at least $200, just $200, that's all you got to put, and voila, you get rid of all the little annoying scam ads that were polluting your Craigslist. Now, you have, like, random stuff like this that's just, like, what the heck, you can probably fix by putting in $1,000 as your max, but either way, um... So, if you live in Georgia, I envy you because you live probably near a thousand people who sell these kind of vehicles, whatever they are, off-road. I can't think of it right now. Anyways, back to the point. So, if you scroll down, you might be able to find something more towards your location. It's a little bit further out, but you can make it possible, you know. For like $500, you get a coolster. So, a coolster, if you don't know what those are, they're kind of, so here's the Apollo, right? Here's the coolster, and here's the Teo Teo. They're basically the same bikes. Don't freak out when you see another name and you're like, oh my gosh, no one drives that. Well, you're probably right, no one probably drives it, but it's okay. They're, they're basically made from the same company. They're all Chinese. Anyways, moving out of that, um, look at this. You have a coolster. Oh, see, this one looks clean. For how much is it? $600. So $600, you get this 
actually a really clean looking bike. I kind of like that one. It doesn't look too bad. Like, basically, you want to look at the engine. You want to look at, like, there's a lot of scratches there. And then just the, I mean, just looking at this from the overall condition, you can say that this is pretty well kept and relatively new. There's no rust from what I see. So if you find a bike like that, you shouldn't be afraid to buy it. Go ride it, obviously. Test drive it. See what it's like. But for $600, that's a really good bike. Good grief. Kind of like that. So after that, then you start going up into the range of the expensive stuff. What the heck is a United Motor? And why does that look like... Okay, it's not that scam worthy, but it's kind of scam worthy. Anyways, all right. So, moving on to the next website. If you can't find anything on Craigslist, don't worry. There's a lot more out there. So, also, y y Craigslist, you might die. Just saying. Uh, I'm not trying to scare you. It's just there's a possibility. That's with anything you have to go meet and people and exchange goods and money cash anyways all right moving on so for 350 dollars on offer up if you don't know what offer up it's basically craigslist let's go ahead and click on this one it looks like he brought this out of the pits of his deck why is it on a deck is he scared he's gonna who knows all right Mo no no that one's just no what the heck is this one why does it look like it was owned by an eight-year-old? Zoomy sticker? What are you, a skater? But then you have a... Okay, so many questions with this one. But it also looks like something's not aligned. I don't really know. Something's not right. I mean, overall, it looks kind of clean. For 500 you could probably talk them down for like... I wouldn't pay more than $400 for this thing. What is it, like a 70cc? probably a 70 so if you want something to scoot around the yard for four hundred dollars that's not bad but definitely you always want to try and talk them down no matter what the price is all right next one now this is what we're talking about six hundred dollars a 110 cc it's home territory for me kind of brings back emotional tears back when i got my you know beautiful dirt bike anyways so great flash dude Great flash, starting off strong with the pitchers. I feel like I'm rating people. I'm not even, like, teaching you how to get one. Anyways, so, we got to... What's going on here? Why does it look like it's the Craigslist serial killer? He's got a Gucci handbag in the back. What, did that's not even... It looks like a camera bag. It's a Gucci camera bag. Who? What? so many questions <laughs> he's got a mirror in the back right then he's got a gucci bag on the mirror but then he's got the pit bike and then he's got the tire off the pit bike so he's probably stolen the pit bike to say the least he he was okay so he was taking off the tire right and then he was like ah shoot well if i'm stealing the tire i might as well just throw this in my trunk so now he's got the whole bike and he's like well crap i don't know what to do with it because i don't know how to put the tire back on so, I guess we're just going to sell it. But then by that point, he's stolen the Gucci bag. Because there's no way he could afford Gucci if he can't even afford to put his mirror up on the wall. It, what? So many questions. Alright, so, this is a red flag, obviously. You're probably going to die when you go by this guy. You, you're going to die. And then he's going to rob you of your money probably steal you of everything you got in your car most likely your mirrors so protect your rear view mirrors and your side mirrors because he's coming for him this guy uh, uh what's his name davis stay away from davis davis is going to or is it doofus yeah he's the close enough he's got two star reviews though hmm two star reviews <laughs> yeah this guy looks like <laughs> he looks very Wow. Okay. Definitely don't buy from that guy. Mm. All right. Okay, this looks promising. SSR. So the, here's the Apollo. Teo Teo Coolster. 
And then here's the SSR. So it's like a nicer Chinese bike, right? So if you can get an SSR, I would definitely get that over all the other Chinese brands just because they are more, they're, they have more, what would you say? They have a reputation kind of, kind of like the Honda and all that. They're just not as big as them. Um, they have their own companies in the U.S. from what I know. So that's pretty good. They're reliable um, to an extent from what I know. Uh, they still break like any dirt bike. Just just know when you're buying a dirt bike, it's probably going to break. That's just how they are. Um, they're Riding anything that rough off-road, what did I just do? Riding anything off-road that much, stuff is going to fall apart. So just make sure you check the bolts, change the oil, you know. Be good to it, put good gas in it. You'll be fine, all right? It'll be okay. No tears will be shed. So, moving on, there's always Amazon. Now, Amazon, the only thing I... Amazon's a great place to go, right? But Amazon does not back these bikes, so I do want to go ahead and say a warning on that. You can't exactly trust anything on there because it could come broken. Um, you don't get the same prices. Like, okay, 485 plus... 154 shipping that's not bad for that one that's actually not too shabby um no that's not bad at all it's just there's a chance you don't know where it's coming from um it could come broken there's just i don't know shipping bikes i don't really trust it but if you were going to have to choose a place try to stick with amazon just because it's amazon um, let me go ahead and show you one place you should definitely just not buy from. I'm kind of ranting by this point, sorry. Um, uh, Power Sports Max. Just don't buy it from them. Just don't. Like, look, right? You, you click on the website. You're lured. You, you, you're amazed. You're like, wow. Wow, $369. Mom. Mom, get the wallet. It's a good price. No, nah, no, nah, it's not a good price. You're, you're going to end up ordering a four-wheeler and get a moped. Now, mopeds are great and all. Not not destroying the mopeds out there. Mopeds for life, dude. They're going to take you far. They're going to be like our great buddy, Mr. Scoots. Oh, no. We lost our scooter. Uh, okay, anyways. But, yeah. It, it Just back to the point. Don't buy from them. Literally, Chris says, don't buy from them. It's awful. David, David's a different kind of guy. We don't know what he's talking about. Three stars, still not worth it. Four stars, maybe. But here's a four-star review. He bought a Teo Teo. Not bad. Not bad idea. He says it's good. But Fernando, you got problems. Because you still bought it from this website. And that's not trustworthy. You just don't do it, okay? Look at Jay. Jay, worst experience my family has ever had with this company. Boom. There you go. That's all you need. Kayla, how's your life doing? Unfortunately, I had to give this one star in order to post this <laughs> see that's what i'm saying you just don't trust it and how about this guy xx lil lit wait little lt fresh you're going to trust a kid who came from xbox to post a review like are you serious moving down ray how's your life been i would give no stars but that's not an option <laughs> see there we go that's all you need ray you're the man so that's how you just kind of like it's common sense people put two and two together if it has two stars then it's probably not a good buy you don't trust someone with two stars no matter how pretty they look on the outside yikes that looks trustworthy uh-huh yeah totally trustworthy what the heck what is this okay anyways Hope you guys found this useful. I tried to make it useful. I don't know. Um, it may be something that you've already answered yourself. But use Craigslist. Use OfferUp. You might run into a killer. I'm just kidding. Don't freak out. You probably won't. Most people are pretty nice. If they answer to your text, usually they're real people. And they won't kill you. Not all of them. But most of them. So, there's that. OfferUp looks like a pretty great website to find a dirt bike if you need it. Um... I really ranted this video, but if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. I would really appreciate it. We're growing. Um, we're growing pretty good. I got a camera, so vlogs are coming. Yeah. And, yeah, that's basically it. Just 
Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Alan White, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.